All right, so our piece has been sprayed with the Kamar and with the UV resin, or sorry, UV um, resist spray, and it has sat for 24 hours for the gases to dissipate. So I've got my resin already mixed. The resin that I'm using is Moss Epoxy's Art Pro. It comes with two different parts. This is part B. There's also part A. And for this particular resin, you mix equal parts by measurement of the two. You could also measure it by weight, um, but they don't weigh the same amount. So you do, do need to do a little bit of math to figure that out. But if you're more comfortable being precise that way, when you get silicone cups, typically they have measurements on the side, which makes it easy to measure. So I've mixed it for three full minutes and you can actually see when you're mixing while it's not completely, while the two parts are not completely mixed, you can see little striations in your resin. Once they're completely mixed, it comes becomes crystal clear. There are bubbles in here, but we will use a heat gun to remove those bubbles. Make sure that you follow all the safety recommendations of the resin that you are choosing to use. You can typically find that with your resin or else on their website. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my little stir stick. I'm pouring it all on the front of the piece. I've got my hands protected with gloves and I will use my hands to spread it around the top of the piece and then down the sides. All right, move those to the side. I've also made sure that my piece was completely level. You definitely want to do that before pouring your resin because if it's not level and you've got a low spot, your resin is going to run to that side. So make sure that you have made sure that your piece is resin and I've got it resin with your make sure that your piece is level and I've got it propped up on some painters pyramids so that the resin can drip off the sides and I don't have a pool at the base of my piece here I've got my table protected with just a cheap shower curtain um, I will use a shower curtain for several months until it gets to the point where I have to basically rip it apart to get the resin off most of the time you can just pick it right off because it will resist the resin. Um, but it's a nice inexpensive way to protect your work surface. So I'm taking my hands and I'm rubbing my resin around the sides to make sure that I've got it coated evenly on the sides. And what that does is it helps it to run down the sides evenly. And I'm also making sure there's some on the edges. I'm gonna take my glove off of one hand just in case I need to touch the resin with um, my other hand. You don't ever wanna to touch resin with bare hands. And I'm using a heat gun on low setting and that is gonna help us pop the bubbles. And you can see them popping easily. And I will typically babysit my piece for the first half an hour to an hour popping buzz, popping bubbles about every 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. You'll get to know when you can stop or slow down. Sometimes you'll have a few that don't really want to pop and they just kind of need to race um, to the surface a little bit more. I have something right in here. Oh, that's with my alcohol ink. So I'm going to leave that there. It, it's popping up out of the resin right now, but what that will do is when I were adding um, subsequent quotes, coats that will end up being hidden. So about every 10-15 minutes or so I'm going to come back with the heat gun and pop the bubbles. If by chance there's a little bit of dust I'll take pick it out with a little toothpick. You can also take a clear container and completely cover it to help protect it from the dust. It's not 100% effective. You will sometimes still get little bits that um, blow into it. For this particular layer I'm not going to do that simply because if by chance I get a particle of dust. We've got two other coats of resin that are gonna go on here, so um, it will get fixed with those. But for right now, we need to let it sit and cure, pop the bu bubbles periodically. Um, I do let it cure for 24 hours before we move to the next part. The next part is using some masking fluid again and masking the edges of this top part off. And I wanna make sure that my resin is good and cured before doing that, I don't wanna affect um, I don't want to have the resin and the masking fluid affecting each other and not being able to get the masking fluid off. So I will see you tomorrow when this is completely cured and we will mask for our next layer.